Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT VHU and welcome to my channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem A Strange Matrix, the second problem of data structures and algorithms coding contest of March Hacker Earth. So let's begin with the problem statement. We have been given a matrix A containing n rows and m columns and an integer C is also given and all cells are assigned with some values less than or equal to C and AIJ is the value of ith row and jth column and each second all cells value is increased by 1 so and it can increase up to a maximum up to C that is given integer that is uh, also after that value of AIJ unchanged okay note that uh, after a time t value of the cell would be like the initial value plus t okay on the 0th second we are at 1 comma 1 and we want to go to n comma m cell at any point in time we can jump to any of the adjacent cell that is you can see here vertically or horizontally okay and in one move we can move to the adjacent cell only when the adjacent cell value is exactly equal to the my current cell value and we cannot go outside the matrix and jump time is negligible now we have to determine the minimum time to reach n comma m cell from the current cell that is 1 comma 1 let's discuss the input and output format also n m and c are given and next n lines and m lines will be the representation of a matrix and constraints are n into m is less than or equal to 3 into 10 power 5 and c goes up to 10 power 9 and the value of array is less than or equal to c okay and note that each second the array values are going to be increased by 1 so after a time t the value of the array would be like the initial value plus t okay so how we are going to do this problem and what would be our approach let's move further so uh, what is given actually in this question we have been given a matrix of size n into m and a value c and what is the minimum time to reach n comma m cell from 1 comma 1 in one move we can move to the neighboring cell only when the current and neighboring cell have the same value and value of a cell increases every second and goes up to c okay let's discuss the prerequisite to solve this problem so basically this problem requires the the extra algorithm to have the most efficient implementation using the help of the priority queue that is minimum heap note that this problem does not needs only the extra algorithm to solve this problem we can also solve this problem with the help of disjoint set union or we can also solve this problem with the help of a binary search but i think the extra algorithm uh, makes the implementation and the to solve this problem much easier so i have used the extra algorithm to solve this problem here so let's discuss the examples then i am going to move to the coding part so okay so suppose uh, here is the n into a matrix where n is 2 and m is 5 and I have taken a suitable value c. So also I am going to maintain a priority queue which would be like a value comma coordinates okay x comma y. Now I am going to push my the very first cell value that is 0 comma 1 comma 1 that is you can say the 0 is the value and 1 and 1 is the coordinate okay of the cell now i am also going to maintain a, a matrix of size n into m which would be the which would be denoting the minimum time to reach to a particular cell from one comma one cell okay so i am going to initially initialize my source cell value with zero and all the values of the other cells are going to be initialized with infinite now i am going to check uh, whether moving from my current cell to the neighboring cell is optimal or uh, acceptable or not okay so how we are going to check that okay so let's uh, uh, understand that also so after a time t so initially i have uh, i am at time t equal to 0 so for a general time t what are the values of the my current cell let's say current cell is c1 and uh, later cell is that is neighboring cell is c2 let's say okay so what is the value of my current cell after time t it would be like my initial value let's say it uh, v1 and for initial value of my neighboring cell let's say it's v2 okay and what would be the uh, value of the cell that is my current cell after time t would be it would be like v1 uh, that is the initial value plus uh, the current time you can see here the current time is 0 i am going to denote it by c u r r 
and what would be the current value after time t for the neighboring cell it would be like initial value v2 plus again c u r r these are the uh, values of my current cell and neighboring cell after time t so uh, uh, i am going to check if this c1 is going to be equal to c2 or not if c1 is going to be equal to c2 i can easily jump from my current cell to the neighboring cell because we all know that according to the problem if the value of the cell is going to be equal after a time t after a specific time we can directly jump to the neighboring cell and if the value of the cell is not going to be equal i need to wait for a particular amount of time so that after that time uh, the uh, my current cell and the neighboring cell will have the same value and i can easily jump okay so if uh, let's uh, define a new variable let's say new time so new time would be the initialized with my current time because i need to update the new time also so i am going to initialize with new time with the curr that is current time so what would be the new cell value new cell value would be simply the new time and new time is simply the initialized with current but i need to add extra time if c1 is not equal to c2 because uh, i have to wait for some time so that the cell values become equal so what what would be the waiting time that is extra time i need to calculate so let's define it by e the extra time i need to wait would be simply maximum of i am going to write maximum of c minus c1 comma c minus c2 i am going to write this because note that c1 and c2 must not exceed the maximum value that is c so i need to take maximum of uh, this one c1 with uh, c also and c2 with c also and what would be the waiting time that is extra time you can say extra time would be c minus c1 and c minus c2 because if the value of the cell let's say is not equal after time t let's say i have the value as 5 comma 8 and c is 9 we can also we are uh, aware of that every second this is going to increase and this is going to increase up to the value c if one cell value reaches the maximum value c uh, still the, uh, another cell is not reach the maximum value so i need to have uh, waiting time equal to maximum of c minus c1 and c minus c2 okay so this is my waiting time so if uh, so what would be our new time in general case so our new time would be my current time okay c u r r plus some extra time okay i'm going to include my extra time if c1 is going to be exactly equal to c2 okay so let's calculate for these two cells if i'm going to move from 5 to 4 so my current time is 0 so uh, c1 will be like uh, 5 and c2 would be like uh, 4 and uh, if these values are not equal so i am going to calculate the extra time my extra time would be coming out to be simply 5 and my extra time is coming out to be 5 so what would be the new time new time would be simply 0 plus extra time, extra time that is 5 so uh, i am going to fill this matrix fill this cell with value 5 it's denote that minimum time to go from this 5 cell to this 4 cell is 5 and similarly i can calculate this cell value also for 7 for going to 7 c1 will come out to be simply c1 would come out to be the current time 0 plus the value of the cell that is uh, 5 and again c2 would come out to be 7 and what is the extra waiting time since this these two values are not equal waiting time is simply maximum of uh, c minus 5 and c minus 7 which is coming out to be 4 so i am going to fill it with 4 so i am going to fill it with 4 because new time is simply the current time which is 0 plus extra time which is 4 now this element has been used now the priority queue contains the two elements that is for this cell the value of this cell and its coordinate and the value of this cell and its coordinate note that priority queue is uh, minimum heap type so i am going to pick this 4 and then analyze for the its neighboring cells okay so what would be the value of c1 and c2 so let's calculate that also c1 would be uh, simply the uh, current value of this cell that is 7 
uh, okay plus current time you can see the current time is 4 which is exceeds the value of c so i am going to take the minimum which is uh, simply 9 c1 would come out to be 9 and again if we, if i am going to calculate c2 then it would simply 3 the value of the cell plus what is the current time current time is simply you can see is 4 so current it would come out to be 7 you can see 9 and 7 are not equal so simply i i need to add the extra time also so what would be the value of the value that is going to be filled in this three cell three cell so in that cell it is going to be filled with current time that is 4 plus extra time that is that needs to be filled extra time is simply maximum of 9 minus 9 and 9 minus 9 which is simply 2 so uh, the value that is going to be filled in this cell is 6 simply so it denotes the minimum time to go from 1 comma 1 cell to simply 2 comma 1 cell that is here directly we cannot uh, uh, move to a diagonally so we can move to like this one upward downward the or you can say downward and rightward okay so minimum time to go from 1 comma 1 cell to 2 comma 1 cell is 6 and similarly if we use the priority queue operations that is picking up the minimum value minimum time and checking the neighboring cells you can see so going from source s to target t it uh, it would come out to be total 7 seconds that is uh, it takes minimum 7 seconds to move from this source cell to this target cell okay so our answer in this example in this case would come out to be 7 so how we are going to implement this uh, whole priority queue and its implementation part so let's understand that also okay so before moving further i need to discuss the approach so maintain a priority queue minimum heap such that the time comma cell comma coordinates will be the key each time pop out the cell having the minimum time and check find and uh, find the new time to move to the neighboring cell okay so if current cell value after time t and neighboring cell value after time t are not same then simply new time equals current time plus extra time for waiting and what would be the waiting time simply waiting time would be a maximum of absolute value of c minus the current time and current time would be simply the sorry c u order here is going to denote the current cell and uh, c minus the target cell that is neighboring cell where c u r r is minimum of current cell value plus current time and comma c we need to take the minimum with c also and similarly target uh, cell will have uh, like minimum of target cell value plus current time comma c okay so if new time is less than the previous time for that neighboring cell push the value and the cell coordinates in the priority queue simply and perform the operations and whenever we reach the destination cell that is n comma m i need to break the uh, you can say break the operations and simply print the answer okay perform the above operation till we reach the destination cell okay so what would be the time complexity of this operation it would be simply o of x log x where x is the total number of cells okay so let's move to the coding part okay let's start from the very beginning i have defined a safe function is safe that uh, that is going to check whether the current cell uh, passed the parameters x and y are the valid cell coordinate of a cell of a matrix or not okay so i have taken the input parameters n m and c and i have uh, uh, taken the input matrix m a t now i have initialized the minimum heap whose uh, key would be like pair that is the first element of the pair would be ll that is going to denote the value and again the second element of the pair is again a pair that is going to denote the coordinates now i am going to push the source that is you can say source cell that is 0 comma 0 and i am going to check for n minus 1 comma m minus 1 okay if uh, that would be a destination cell now i have initialized the distance matrix with infinite values and also initialize the source uh, cell with 0 so i am going to start with that so i am going to do the operations till the priority queue is non empty or we can say or we haven't reached the destination cell for the very first time now i am going to pick up the coordinate of my current that is current operation 
and again the current time would be simply to priority queue dot top dot first element and I'm going to pop out this element this is of no use okay now these are the coordinates x and y and if x is exactly coinciding with n minus 1 and y is exactly coinciding with m minus 1 we can say we have found the or we can say we can read the destination cell and our output would be simply the current time and I'm going to exit this okay because we have found the desired value so no need to go further otherwise I'm going to check if the neighboring cell that is x minus 1 comma y is safe or not if it is safe then I'm going to do the further operations so what are the further operations okay let's calculate the current time of the current cell okay it would be simply the current value plus the current time comma c that is minimum with this with c okay and what would be the uh, time when we visit the neighboring cell that is target time you can say that would be the that cell value plus current time comma c I need to take with the minimum because this might exceed the value of c okay and uh, what would be the new time to reach the cell it would be simply initialized with the current time and plus extra time that uh, if we need to wait okay if current is not equal to target that is current time of my current cell is not equal to the target time of the target cell then simply we need to add some extra time for the waiting part okay so what would be the extra time extra time would be simply maximum of the c minus cu order and, and uh, absolute value of c minus target time okay because uh, if one cell if uh, one time is uh, reach the value c uh, still the second one haven't reached the value c so i need to take the maximum of those okay so uh, if new time is going to be less than equal to the already present value that is dist of x minus 1 and y then i need to update the value uh, that is already present in that cell of dist matrix that is i am going to initialize with or i am going to say i am going to replace with uh, new time and again i am going to push into the priority queue for further operations okay because this uh, this uh, is the new minimum of that cell okay so similarly i'm going to do the operations for all the neighboring cells okay so these are the sequence of operation for all the neighboring cells so let me submit this code and check it out if this is going to be a valid uh, answer or not okay you can see the entire code is going to be accepted okay uh, so okay so the link to the code is mentioned in the description section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.